Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about what happened yesterday with one of the best objectives ever to grace this game inside of FIFA 21, and that was the staged, or I guess you could say upgradable Atal milestone objective for a footies favorite Atal card that was dropped yesterday with that 94 five-star, five-star, absolutely insane looking center mid card at the end of the road of those objectives. So I want to talk about that and how that was a huge W, maybe a little bit late, but that was a card that everybody wanted to see during footies and we got him, right? So a thumbs up to EA for that one. And also there's some other interesting things going on with that Koke SBC. Again, EA told us it was going to be Friday. It actually came out today. We'll talk about that. There was another new player pick fan vote for the SBC that will come out on Friday. Of course, we have rewards today. And what I want to start talking off with, talking on, on about tonight is an unfortunate tweet that EA just released. And this sucks, man. This really does suck. The timing here, I mean, this, the, I, I re just quote tweeted this and I said, man, this is such an EA thing to do. Here's the, here's the tweet, right? The three footies champions upgrade SBCs were unintentionally released with higher than intended rewards. Again, we saw a lot of people getting Neymars. Uh, Boris Legend got a 99 Messi, I believe, for one of these. The SBCs have been replaced and now have the correct rewards. Uh, they're still showing up in the game. I don't even know if they were taken down. I didn't hear about that. So it just, it must've happened like this, right? But it's crazy that this kind of thing happened, man. It kind of reminds me of that situation back in FIFA 20, where we had the ultimate toss packs that like everybody was getting Sancho from. But even this, even this, right? I mean, it's not like everybody's getting Neymar. I, I feel like the luck on these was juiced, but it wasn't overboard. It was juiced, but it wasn't overboard. Now, yes, you did see Neymar's price jump around on the market because there was a lot of these 99 Neymar. So if you got in right away and you did one of these SBCs, you're feeling good about it, right? Again, uh, Tuesday when it was released, we saw that Neymar drop from 4 million coins down to 3.4. He's now back up to 3.6. But it's crazy that A, it took them this long to do this and B, they're doing it right before Weekend League Rewards. Literally, it's like four hours before Weekend League Rewards, five hours before Rewards is going to drop. And of course, they knew people were going to get red picks and go out and do these SBCs. I was somebody that was thinking of doing it, right? Of course, when they have a lot of seemingly good pack luck, I was going to go after it. So that is very, very unfortunate. It just feels like they're taking the fun out of it, right? It's like EA, it's the end of July. Just let it roll, right? Just let it roll. Let us, let us have some fun. It's not like that SBC is out for forever. It's only out for like two more weeks. So that is why we're disappointed today with this decision from EA. Now, also what it tells us is they can change SBC pack weight. I mean, this is nothing that we we knew or uh, we didn't know from earlier, but they can change pack weight like that. They can change pack weight like that, whether it's promo packs, whether it's SBC rewards. Um, it's just, you know, it's always changing, right? And that's one of the things that we're never going to really know about. It's behind the scenes. Um, and again, they, they just shows that they did it today because it says the SBCs have been replaced and now have the correct rewards. Now, I don't know that these were actually taken off of the game. And if they were, it was for a very short amount of time. Um, and, but you know, it's going to show the same thing, right? Actually, let me see. It still shows this is the same SBC. They literally just changed the pack weight because I had my Benzema and Romarino already placed into this SBC. And I believe if they would have taken this off the game and re put a new one in, uh, my cards would not be in there because it would have been like a starting fresh opening that SBC for the first time. So in my opinion, they literally just tweaked the pack weight and that's what they did, right? And that's just, again, very disappointing because just let us have fun, right? But anyways, that's a negative thing to happen tonight. Let's focus on the positive that happened yesterday. This Milestones footies favorite Atal objective, 30 days to complete this SBC. And basically what you have to do, it's right around like 20 games, maybe a little bit less than 20 games, right? To get this card, if you go out and you buy the foot birthday version, it can save you some time because then you don't have to go through the first few objectives to get the foot birthday card. And there were some crazy price movements on that foot birthday item itself today because people figured that out early. And what they did was they went out and they bought this card. He went from about 26 or 27,000 coins, I believe. 24K, he shot all the way up to 60,000 coins. People played the games that they needed to play with him, and he went all the way back down to even lower than where he was today, of course, because people were just buying this up to do the objective quicker, to get that 91 at all, to get that 94 at all, and then they went on to sell that card. So kind of crazy, but if you waited to do the objective, of course, 
Uh, you can save yourself a little bit of time by buying that 87 card for 20K, going out and starting the objective and play a few less games um, by doing that. So just a little helpful tip there if you have not done that already. But this is a huge W of a card, man. 99 pace, 95 shot, 93 passing, 97 dribbling, 92 defense, 93 physical, five star, five star. The thing I like about it is the center mid position change. So you can put this guy anywhere that gives him the position change, uh, movability from striker all the way back to CDM. I think that's a huge dub. And if you want the right mid item, I mean, to be fair, this 91 card right here isn't that bad of an item as well, right? So if you just want the right mid position change one, maybe better links for you or for your club. You have a 91 rated version there that is pretty easy to get. But I think that 94 rated version is worth going after, right? An insane, insane card and people are loving it. People are loving it. 3,200 upvotes on the footbin machine. I guess the only complaint to this objective being out right now is maybe people are saying, why would I play this many games for this kind of card in freaking the end of July, right? I get that, right? I totally understand who really wants to grind a lot of this stuff at the end of July, but these cards are insane. They're mental. And at least for the last month or so of the game, you'll be able to pl pa play with some of these incredible, incredible cards. So I'm a, a huge fan. These tiered objectives are just fun, right? Because you get multiple different cards. You can end up using an untradeable foot birthday version and this 91 for SBC fodder as well getting cards along the way. Since there's so many SBCs that are released right now, that's another W part of this. But that SBC today really impacted the market a lot. Sorry, the objective, not the SBC, because everybody was juiced about this La Liga Weekend League, right? The La Liga Weekend League needing eight La Liga cards in your squad to get the extra player picks. You had midfielders all over the entire game going down in price yesterday. This is uh, number one... Um, you know, example of what happened yesterday on the market. This Modric was 590,000 coins before the content drop yesterday. It's not in packs, obviously, right? Panic sold all the way down to like 510, 515K, has now bounced back up a little bit. But even with the high weekend league demand for this card and for other midfielders on the game, like Acuna, um, I think there was even like Pugba Summer Heat was down today. It was dropping in that initial panic sell. Some of the icons, right? Valverde's team of the season item is a, another great example of another card that was in high demand for this weekend league that dropped off. Now it's getting interesting with some of these cards because um, they're, you know, this Valverde is actually going to get supplied tonight at rewards. So he might drop down a little further, but again, that Modric is not supplied. So it's going to be interesting to see if some of those cards from La Liga bounce back up a little bit today with rewards. Cause it seemed like yesterday with everybody doing a tall people basically just went out and sold some cards that they had to, you know, maybe build a team around a tall or, or something like that. And maybe they're now forgetting about that La Liga objective a little bit too. And again, the reason why we thought the La Liga objective for Weekend League Plus was going to be very popular this weekend was because of how cracked and how OP those brand new footies champions upgrade packs were. And of course, now with EA kind of nerfing those, does that ruin or does that, I guess, lessen the motivation for some people to go out and do this week in League Plus. I think it might a little bit, but honestly, not too much because I feel like people might have their teams kind of set in stone and ready to go for some of the stuff. Even myself, I'm going through the, ta the Tavernier, which I'm almost done with, the Alessandrini, which I'm almost done with, as I'm working on this at all. I don't do objectives that often, man, but I'm going to put these cards, these three in the club by doing that combined objective. Like everybody was doing that objective. I mean, you saw that crazy movement on the Atal Foot birthday. That just goes to show you how crazy, like, hype this objective had yesterday from going 24,000 coins up to 60K and then back down. There's tons and tons and tons of hype for this Atal card. So, again, that is just why you had some of those cards dropping on the market yesterday. Now, also, it's kind of on this every other day schedule again here with the preview packs supplying the market. Fodder dropped yesterday, even heading into rewards. Fodder's down because we had three new preview packs available. We had the second day of this three-day gold players premium preview pack. We had a preview small rare players pack, uh, which was one of the new ones they added earlier this week in the code and also a 100K pack. So again, we're kind of starting to learn about these preview packs, especially at this stage of the game. The only way that fodder is gonna be held in check by price is gonna be on how good the packs are inside of the promo and the preview packs section of the store. When we get good preview packs with 
multiple quantities and of course the higher tier packs as well like the 87 plus star pack uh even 50k 100k 125s whenever we see those in the store you see the special cards that are in packs drop off in price and you see fodder dip a little bit as well here's the index 84 even with a coke sbc yesterday and an 86 plus player pick two probably decently in demand i think a lot of people were hoping for umtiti but of course an 86 plus player pick people were going out and doing that 83 rated squad requirement and you still saw this fodder dropping down now again we're heading into rewards and of course today on thursday is usually like a guaranteed pack sbc kind of day um, last week, I believe we had a guaranteed pack on Thursday. I'm not sure what they're going to do today. There's nothing in the code that is brand new as of right now, but if you wanted to club stock some 84s, maybe a couple 85s, like 84s at 7k on bid, maybe tonight during rewards, you can't go wrong with that in my opinion, because they could very easily spike to, you know, back up to around, you know, nine to 10,000 coins in the next day. They could literally do that today. Ch check out what happened on Tuesday with these cards. Uh, I mean, Vitzel was like in the 9,000 coin range, bounced up to 12K and then came back down. And then of course, yesterday he was around nine to 10K and got supplied like crazy. So that's just kind of an interesting thing to look out for. And of course, people get their weekend league rewards. They go out and they finish SBCs that they've been wanting to do that they were waiting on the coins for. So that's kind of interesting to see that. So fodder could potentially be a play today, depending on the content that does come out. Now, also yesterday we had a brand new Footies vote. Now, here's a little bit of confusing uh, manner, right? Because earlier this week, I believe it was the direct communication account, or no, it was a, it was a message inside of the game. It said that the Koke SBC was going to be released on Friday. But what EA did is they were lazy upgrading the text from the last message that they put in the game with the Carvajal and Manolas vote. And actually, it's going off the same schedule that we thought it was, that I mentioned last week during footies. It's kind of a two day waiting period, right? And the uh, message earlier this week said it was going to be, you know, a vote on Monday and the SBC Friday. And I was like, man, that's a really long wait. Usually it's just you, you do the, the vote on like a Monday, then a Wednesday SBC, and then a Wednesday vote, and then a Friday SBC. And that is exactly what happened in this game they released the coke sbc yesterday which somehow he won over him titi again he was a higher rated card but even though they did loans i'm wondering how coke won i really thought that the french links and the barcelona club would just alone boost the umtiti card above coke in terms of hype but coke won the vote and this is this sbc card i think this one's got some down votes on flipping because people aren't that happy that he was the one who won the vote still a decent looking card High, high work rates, four star, four star. So they upgraded the skill moves in weak foot, which is not too terrible. It's a decent card, right? Especially for the La Liga Weekend League. It helps out for a defensive midfielder or a box to box. Throw a shadow chem style on him, which I'm sure everybody is doing. Yes, shadow chem style is kind of the way to go. But we had a new vote yesterday for an 86 David Silva or a 84 rated Kings of Coman. Now, this one I think could get very interesting. David Silva, right? Premier League, Manchester City, right? Not not quite a legend, but somebody who was seen very highly in, you know, football, right? Also, La Liga, Spanish links, weak link plus objectives. There's some demand there. Both of these players, whoever wins on Friday, will get a five-star weak foot upgrade. I believe right now they both have a three-star. Uh, Kings of Coman's got the four-star skills and the three-star weak foot. That would get boosted to a five-star weak foot, of course. And the, the reason why I'm interested with this vote is because we're pitching up a Bayern and French left mid up against the David Silva. So I'm very curious to see who ends up winning this. David Silva has the higher rating. And right now we are two for two on the higher rating winning the SBC. I voted for David Silva because I think that would just be a cool card to have, right? Just, just straight up cool to have a David Silva card like that. But I could see either of these two winning. So again, that's just what is going on right now with that sort of stuff in this game. We expect to see that SBC on Friday. So Koke was released at the right time. EA just told us some misinformation. Now let's talk about rewards and about Thursday today a little bit towards the end of this video. I know it's already gotten a little bit longer, but today is rewards, of course. So you're going to have these team of the season cards supplied a little bit on the market. And again, since the focus was kind of taken off of this specific La Liga Weekend League, I would really keep an eye on some of these TOTS cards 
that are going to be packed through elite and higher rewards today that are in La Liga that dropped yesterday. This Frankie De Jong, who right now is 638,000 coins, that's down, right? He was like 670, I believe. Uh, he was even 620 and, and lower earlier in the day yesterday. I would keep an eye out for some of these cards that are very popular and even some of the other cards that are in packs because of batch one, like Foot Birthday for Lin Mendy, Road to the Final, Varan would be cards. Uh, Future Stars, Dest. Those would be items. Ansu Fati, Future Stars. I would be looking at those cards' prices today during rewards because maybe some people that sold them yesterday to go complete a tall are now going to buy them back for those weekend league plus objectives. So just keep an eye on that and just keep an eye on all team of the season cards. A really good way to actually trade on this game in the past few weeks has been buying some of the most popular team of the season cards during rewards when they get supplied because basically it's a wave of supply that comes on the market. They go up in price later because there's a little bit of demand, but also there's just supply and there's undercutting and stuff like that. So, you know, some, some guys like Goretzka, some guys like Davies, some guys like Sancho, right? I, I keep an eye on them today, um, especially some of the La Liga cards. Again, with that demand being there for the weekend league, you know, Messi, Benzema, De Young, Llorente, Varane, Jordi Alba for a cheap option. You know, he's already, uh, Lucas Vasquez, right? 105,000 coins for a great box-to-box -box midfielder, even Suarez. I'd keep an eye on some of those cards today, but just team of the seasons in general, I would watch out for those. Sun is 399. Wow. That is really low for his card. Rashford, 776. That's crazy. Some of this stuff has dropped down and with rewards today could drop a little bit cheaper. So keep an eye on that. And of course the cards that are in packs, because again, we saw a big drop off on them, uh, especially some of the La Liga cards. I'm just curious to see rewards. The last two times we've had these weekend league plus objectives that have been nation specific with uh, France and Spain. Thursday rewards day wasn't necessarily that great. For France, some of the, the French cards went up a little bit, but for Spain, it was kind of overinvested. So I'm really curious to see today if uh, there's more demand for those, for a market rise after rewards for some of those cards based off of those weekly plus objectives and the the, uh, the new upgrade packs that have been quote unquote nerfed um, by EA Sports. So that's kind of my thinking of what's going on in this game right now. Now again, for Thursday content today, the last few weeks, I believe we've had some code um, and they've kind of, you know, released some sort of SBC related to like an upgrade pack or something along those lines. Now, I'm going to keep a close eye on, on the Footwatch code and see if there's anything added to the game um, tonight. But as of right now, it does not look like there's anything new and it probably will just be another upgrade pack Thursday. We have some throwback marquee matchups. Uh, but again, yesterday with the Atal SBC, we were just kind of blindsided and we were hit by EA and said, hey, here's some sick content, GG's. Um, so that was really cool. I hope that happens today, today. again. I expect the pr uh, preview pack section of the store to be pretty quiet today. So that's why if there is some sort of pack code that is released, I think fodder could be a good short-term investment for a flip during rewards, um, depending on the SBCs that we do get tomorrow. That's why I wanted to mention that. Of course, as people go out and to play that weekend league, also you, sh you should see some gold rares get cheaper today. So if you want to grind some last 81 plus player picks, those will be out and available for you. Or if you're trying to craft some SBCs, those cards should get a little bit cheaper just based off of the fact they're getting supplied with the weekend league rewards. So again, rewards day on Thursday. Good luck with your reds. And hopefully that these uh, the, the upgrade packs for the foot champions upgrades in here are still decent enough to actually do something with. Um, I'm going to have to think if I really want to turn in my Benzema now to try this out, because again, that tweet from EA sports is just a big bomber, right? It's a big bomber and it doesn't make sense. Just let us have fun EA sports with this game at the moment. Now, I guess I didn't mention this. We had a silver stars yesterday. Um, Macheda, right? So that's a nice Italian silver stars player right there, which is a GG. If that is something that interests you as well. So again, we're heading into another footy Friday. We're going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but there's nothing new coming in packs, right? I really wish they were re-upping and doing batch two this week. It's probably just going to be more player SBCs, more player pick fan votes, uh, new objectives. I believe that um, Tavernier and the Alessandrini go away in the next couple days. So Alessandrini is going to be out for one more day than Tavernier, but that's going to go away on Friday. Hopefully we have a new one of those on Friday as well. Um, just curious to see how EA brings the hype, right? So we'll be looking around that sort of stuff on the market. And of course, watching the La Liga specials and watching even some of your League One specials 
with that Atal card. It's seeing You're going to see a lot of Neymars and Atals in Weekend League, and to be completely honest, because of how many Neymars were given out in those upgrade the Champions League upgrade packs earlier this week. So that's kind of what's going on in FIFA right now at the moment. It was kind of crazy yesterday that one untradeable milestone SBC card in that Atal could really move the market that much. Midfielders across the game were down. Uh, it's not just midfielders as well. A lot of the market was down in general. So that was pretty crazy to see yesterday on the game. Hopefully they bring some sick content today, whatever that may be. Footies hasn't disappointed in my opinion yet. So hopefully that is that uh, that kind of hype continues today on Thursday. But if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate for the Count. I will catch you guys later. Peace.